Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review this beautiful Raspberry Pi 3B+. Yes, it's a little bit faster than the regular Raspberry Pi 3. And on top of that, it is created by a box. Now, this unit, you can see it that is really nicely designed. And once you open it, a jam-packed box. You can see that the Raspberry Pi is from element 14. And it is sitting inside of this little box. With it comes a user manual. And the user manual will walk you through on how you can get it installed. Plus, it comes a little plastic in the plastic you will get the heat sink and also it comes with a little emblem so we can connect that on the box and yes it does come with a see-through nice looking box so this is the power supply that came for the raspberry pi you can see this part is micro usb and then you do have the switch on and off button to it and this part is created for canada and united states which will give you 5 volt 3 amps. Really beautiful small card reader. So this way we're going to connect this to the USB and then the card goes on the top and this part is the USB type C. So we can program Raspberry Pi. So it's also come with a 16 gigabyte micro SD that already have the software on it and that way makes our life a lot easier to make this video to show you how easy it is to hook this up. All right, so this is the Raspberry Pi board. And it looks really slick. It looks very small. But again, it's exactly like the first one that we had. So going back from the top, you do have the power connector, which is micro USB. And then going into HDMI 2.0, then you do have the headset jack. So this way you can take sound out of it. Then you also have the LAN connection. You have four USB 2.0 ports and then going on the other side, you have some connectors. And this will be handy dandy if you want to hook this up to a regular panel or you want to use it for a touch screen. That will really help you out. But flip it in the bottom. There should be one more connector, which is right here. And this is where you're going to be able to connect. Let me show you properly. Is where you're going to be able to connect your micro SD card. So everything runs. Except that for your keyboard and for your mouse and everything, these four USB should be enough. If you want to hook up an extra external hard drive, these will help you out. So it comes with a HDMI cable, which is about a meter long. All right, so once you hook up your micro SD and also power, you switch it on and this is the first boot that you will get. So make sure that you connect your keyboard and mouse. And the rest, you just have to follow along. Now we didn't hook up any other USBs. What we're trying to do is the 16 gig SD card that came, it already have preloaded these little connections. So we're going to use that to install. So the first one is going to be connected to RaspBian. And also the next one is the Libra Alec. You can install that too. So that way you can use it for your media center, but I would not suggest. So we will go with the first one and then we're going to use the enter key and then we will go on the top using the mouse. Again, it is very fast to select. So here you go and you can select it. And also there is a Wi-Fi network. You can select to install and that way you will see your Wi-Fi will load. So yes, the module that is part of this Raspberry Pi 3 is the AC Wi-Fi. So I will select my 5G and it will ask me for the password to type. And once it's done, just press OK so that way you can connect. Now you have to understand that this also comes with the Ethernet connection. And there it goes, it's connecting to Wi-Fi failed for some reason. So we will just click on it again. Maybe I type my password wrong and I will try it again. And then it will find the DHCP and it will connect you. Now once you connect it, it goes on the internet to find the rest. So you can see right now that this is just a boot up and it will go through and you can see there's a lot of things here. So you can also install Windows 10. You can also install the TLX OS and go on next to screen OS. So there's a lot of really good things on this that you can install. The one we want to install is going to be the first one, which is this one. And then if we wanted to install more, you have to download the noobs 
2.8 or Noobs app itself and you can reload and then you can install more. Something like Windows is the one. So in this case, the first one is there and we will try to install and we will click on install. This will be telling us that anything that is written in this SD card will be deleted and that's just fine. And there you go. Now it goes online to download the file and then it will extract it on this SD card that we have. Now this part will take at least 10 to 15 minutes for it to download everything and then install it. And also this part depends to the connection of your internet on how fast it can download. You can see mine right now is about 4.5 megabits per second, which is pretty fast. But again, according to what you can see right now in the bottom, it's just going a little bit slow and it is not going to take a long time. But just to save you guys from the headache and I do not want to waste your time, we will fast forward some of these scenes. So there you go. This is 100% downloaded. And now it's going to extract it or we call it installation. You can see that my download rate went to almost 9.6. 9.7 megabits per second. So this can happen if you have a internet that is above 300 megabits per second, you can reach this type of limits. And again, the module that is inside of this Raspberry Pi, I know it's a small little device, can do this type of goodies. And there you go, now it says installed, so we will use our mouse to go and click on OK. It will do a little reboot and it will go through to show you now it is going through the installation and you can see now that it is slowly going to install it and this is the first time that is going to boot in and there you go so this has been installed now you can grab your mouse to go next so you can click on next and you can set up your country so in this case we are in canada so press c and if it doesn't go up just scroll up till you see the letter C or you can hold this usually if you use your keyboard arrows it would be a lot faster to select so let's go to it and here it is and it says time zone we have to set it up for Canadian side which is Toronto right there and we're going to so gonna leave everything default and go next so now it is going to look for the location yes we are connected via Wi-Fi still and now it will tell you to create a password in this case I am just going to leave it blank and we will select next yes you can do that and now it will tell you that the desktop should fulfill the entire screen and if it doesn't put a little check mark here and it says the screen shows a black border around the desktop and we will click on next so now it will go through try to set up the wi-fi and if it sees the wi-fi list and it will come up there you go and you can select your wi-fi while it's right here so we will click next and it looks like it's already operating so we will click next again it will go through to look for the new updates for this uh, Raspberryan, and this way you're going to be able to install or get an update for it and then it will be a fully functional computer and now you can go through to install your apps or if you want to use it for regular browsing this will work perfectly if you want to install something like media centers out there you can and you will be able to use a lot of emulators on this to run this a lot better now here it is rebooted and now you can see that it became really nice and full screen so you have no issues with it and once you try to click on the internet itself it will bring up browser so you can go next and start playing with the Raspberry Pi 3. But this is our take on the, the Raspberry Pi 3 Plus. Let's put this together to put it inside the case. So we already attached the heat sink. Now we're going to put this in the case, but there's a little bottom part. We're gonna put that first because it has a little edge to each side, which is right there. And when that sits down, then we're going to put it inside the big case. Let's take the board itself, which we already put it in the bottom section, and we're going to put it in the case, middle case part itself, which has some already cuts to it. So once you put it here, we gotta make sure that it jams properly. So this way it has little notches right there that has to match.
and there you go so this part has sat down we do have some little parts that is going to be visible and we don't have to worry about that the top case and we just have to make sure that we position it properly and you just have to push it in and that should be it and now this is a perfect case all the sides looks really good and now we can rehook it up and we have to make sure that our SD card is hooked up to it and we're good to go all right so this was our take on raspberry pi 3 b plus i hope you guys like our video if you do like it click the click the like button subscribe button on the top comment and the bottom always remember to visit our own website which is xctext.info like us on facebook follow us on twitter instagram and other social networking places and thank you